Stay tuned to find out how to be a guest on our show and win free movie tickets. Hello everyone, I'm Travis Ross. Welcome to a very special edition of Central Valley Dinner and a Movie. You see, it's a full moon tonight, and it just so happens to be the premiere of Twilight Eclipse. Check out this line. Will it be apples, hex nuts, ping pong balls? We'll find out later in our Gone in 60 Seconds movie ticket giveaway game. Tonight's show is brought to you by Papa Chino's, the Downtown Improvement District, and Brendan Theaters. downtown staple for over 15 years. We serve, we're the only uh, Mediterranean restaurant downtown that serves gyros. And we, our Zorba's excellent. Everybody comes in especially for our Zorba. We're known for a lot of our artwork um, here in the restaurant. We just added two new pieces in the back. We specialize in Greek, Mediterranean, um, and Italian food. So we do gyros pitas, we do Zorba's, which is like I mentioned before, they're like one of our most famous sandwiches that we have. Um, our hummus is excellent. People come in here specifically just for our hummus. Um, and we're known for our yellow rice, so a lot of people come in just for our yellow rice. Great, fresh food. We make everything from scratch. We culture our own yogurt, which is tzatziki sauce. So we add cucumbers, garlic, and dill to that. That's one of our most famous items as well. So like I said, hummus, we do baba ganoush. We, do, um, we can cater to vegan people as well and vegetarian, so we can customize a lot of our meals for our customers. So my dad's cousin used to own the restaurant, and then the cook, who used to live in Long Beach, worked for a Greek restaurant, came in and started cooking and then my dad's cousin decided to move back home to Lebanon um, and so the cook bought it from him and ever since then I've been here with the cook and he's owned it and we've been cooking Greek food. <laughs> Thursday, Friday and Saturday night we have a live musician, his name's Bill Murray. He plays a lot of cover music and a lot of his original songs, he's just, just acoustic here. Um, and we get customers dancing in here sometimes and like you know there'll be one table across from each other each guy asking a girl to dance in the middle of our floor so that gets kind of funny in here. Our ambiance and the fact that we cater to our customers and that everything's made fresh here and we you know we marinate everything here and the fact that we culture our own yogurt and make that I think that really separates us from a lot of the other restaurants. Come into Papachino's and try our original sandwich the Zorba. I had the gyros. I love gyros. They are so good and Papachino's makes them better than anyone else. One thing I like about gyros is that you can eat them for like breakfast, you can eat them for lunch, you can eat them for dinner. They're filling, they've got great seasoning, great sauce. Really excellent dish. I had the falafel plate with mixed vegetables and rice, and the best thing about it was the flavors just blended really nicely together. I really enjoyed it. Man, that was delicious. We're gonna head over to Brendan Theaters now and check this movie out. Then you're gonna get to see some of the movie ticket madness take place. You guys ready to go? Yeah! All right, let's go. Jacob, what are you doing? I'm here to warn you. You should just leave now. For entertainment, I gave this movie an eight. Go watch it. They finally got the acting down. Bella, thank you for learning how to act. We appreciate that. The storyline was really good. The movie was drug out at a couple times, but overall they did a great job, and the fight scenes were excellent. Appeal to women, I gave this movie a nine. Chick flick. Okay, if you're a teeny bopper or you like Jacob with his shirt off, you're gonna enjoy this movie because he pretty much has his shirt off every scene. Yeah. Rawr. Babe count. I gave this movie a two. What girls? Alice is hot. Bella is not. 
It was actually a lot funnier than I expected. I was like laughing pretty good. I liked it a lot, a lot. I did like it. Okay, um, you know, like it's like those annoying fans that are like, eh, you know, like screaming. That was me. Did you have a favorite part? Pretty much every time Jacob walked around without a shirt. <laughs> It was a, it was surprisingly good this movie. You know, I've never seen you. no, I've never seen a Twilight in my life. Mm -hmm. And I was never planning on seeing a Twilight. <laughs> but this honestly, it was pretty good. I did enjoy it actually. I would give it an A+. Plus. I think it was it's been like the best of like yeah. all of the three movies. And uh, you know. You. Yeah, like yeah. the storyline was really good. It kept you on the edge of your seat. I would definitely recommend this to everybody. Oh, man, it's too long to even remember. <laughs> it was pretty long. Yeah, it was yeah. long. Uh, it was kind of a twist, but overall I thought it was really good. I mean, there were some cool action scenes, you know, with the vampires and the wolves, like that. And there's a lot of, obviously, that love story, you know, stuff happening between the two. In this week's Gone in 60 Seconds movie ticket giveaway game, our contestants are going to have to draw from a hat to see what their fate has sealed for them. Is it going to be apples, hex nuts, pong? We'll find out. Go. People rule, and for ruling, they get movie tickets. Good job. Good job. Thanks. For a chance to win free movie tickets or be a guest on our show and get a free dinner in a downtown Modesto restaurant, watch our weekly dinner and a movie videos and leave us a reply telling us why you should win. New winners every week.